Okay, I'm gonna get to my point now. My real point. What's the similarities between Batman and Boba Fett? Well, to be honest, they're almost exactly the same. I mean, look at it. Boba Fett, he's a cool, visually appealing guy with gadgets who goes around and is a badass. Batman, same thing, but with a cape. Actually, sometimes Boba Fett has a cape, but that doesn't matter. What really, really annoys me about this situation is the internet has made these characters unbeatable. And you know what? It'd be fine if it was a comic book Batman, but it's not. If you have Zack Snyder's Batman fighting Zack Snyder's Superman, it's not gonna work. If you have Boba Fett fighting Luke Skywalker, it's not gonna work. Batman should be able to beat up criminals. Boba Fett should be able to beat up regular guys like Han Solo. Both can. Well, Boba Fett can't, but the internet made him able to be. Batman, in the movies, should be able to beat up Superman. We should get a comic booky Batman, but we don't. They're basically the same character that nude culture has made interesting and unbeatable because, I don't know, some money fetish, I guess, or some fetish for beating the crap out of people and having power over others. I don't like this. And you know what? I want it to stop. Now. Seriously, I mean Boba Fett in the whole two movies that he's in, in the original trilogy, which are basically the only really ones that matter. I mean, you could count episode two, but in episode two he just jack squat. In episode five, what does he do? Well, he basically stands behind Darth Vader and then um loads a brick onto his ship and flies away. That's incredibly dumb. And between episode 5 and 6, all he does is give a brick to Jabba the Hutt. And that's also really, 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 I could do that. A stormtrooper could do that. Boba Fett is a guy who cannot use the only thing that separates him from a stormtrooper. It's insane. I, I can't even handle it. It's dumb. <sighs> Okay, so really quick, I just want to talk about Boba Fett. Boba Fett is a stormtrooper with kind of cool armor who gets shot in the back and then jetpacks around, bumps into a wall, and falls into the Scarlack. That's dumb. He's not cool. So shut up about him. Okay, before I go on a rant about Boba Fett, Batman. Relax, this is all going to tie in eventually. Batman is a rich guy in a cape and a mask, who goes and beats up poor people. He's like Donald Trump, if Donald Trump wanted to hurt people who didn't do anything to him and were poor. Okay, fine, that's a little too close to home. I'm sorry, but it, the point still stands. He's a guy who just beats up other people because he has money. And we love this because he's a money fetish for us. It just, ugh, it makes me angry. Okay. The internet, I have something to tell you. Something very important. Either go all comic booky with Batman, or go realistic with Batman. There is no middle ground. You can either have a Nolan voice Batman, where Batman's a cop in a bulletproof armor who can punch people really hard, or you can have a more comic booky universe, like the new Scott Snyder run, where Batman can pilot a giant robot and beat up hundred foot tall weed men. Either way, it works, but not together, which is what Zack Snyder tried to do, and that did not work. That Batman had no point in fighting Superman, but you know what would? A Batman who could pilot a giant robot? would be able to beat up Superman. A Batman who could survive a fall out of an airplane could beat up Superman. A Batman who, I don't know, maybe could have an entire cave system collapse on him and survive but only get amnesia? How silly is that? But it'd work. He'd be able to beat Superman. In fact, in the comics, he did. Nerd culture, I speak to all of you in a tone that would be befitting of talking to a younger sibling. We are powerful. In pop culture, we are powerful. And we have to use that power responsibly. We have a culture in ourselves. We talk to each other. We are good 
people, mostly. And we have to be nice to the younger people who are getting into this. We cannot get into a fight with a five-year-old over who's better, Batman or Superman. And you say Batman because he prepares, and the kid says Superman. Because if you win that fight and you scar a kid, he's not going to get into comic books. He's not going to be a nerd at your age. Well, he might be, but he'll have a worse experience with it. So you know what? We have to let this live on. We have to encourage younger nerds to follow and pursue the nerd industry, whether it's gaming or comic books or movies. We have to let them do this. Because when we're 30, 40, and on the decline, they're going to be on their way up. And we need to be able to say, okay, I'm handing this off to a better generation. Nerd culture is generations in itself. No matter what you say, no matter how you go at it, we will not be around forever. And when we leave, I, at least, want there to be nerds left in the world. <sighs> this isn't going to happen overnight. But nerd culture needs to accept that it does have power in the pop culture genre. And Batman can't always win. And Boba Fett's not always going to be the greatest. Bye.